get it. Okay, um, we'll get the uh, the town hall meeting started. Great turnout. Thank you all for sticking around. We'll try to get through this relatively quickly. Um, we'll start with the church uh, and our giving. Uh, as of right now, we are above expected giving levels. And as an added bonus, we are below expected expenditures. So we are uh, net uh, $25,000 to the, to the positive side. Um, God is good. Thank you all for continuing to support this ministry. As you noticed when you drove in, if this is your first time here in a while, Frank Lane and the new parking lot in the back are done, which opens up a space between the existing buildings and the new parking lot, which will be part of our next um, building program, will be the new preschool building. So the stage is set to begin that. We'll be more on that later. Uh, children's ministry continues with the virtual Sunday school. Uh, VBS planning is ongoing, and it looks like it's going to be a hybrid approach at this time. Um, with on-site being cohort age-based. So that's appropriate for where we find ourselves today. Um, missions continues to serve the community, um, providing COVID critical care, uh, providing meals to the COVID critical care unit at Kaiser Sand, Sand Canyon. Uh, Charity on Wheels had a goal of uh, 250 care packages and they exceeded that goal and uh, our missions group is looking forward to future missions opportunities. Uh, PTL is, is, is really just rocking. John, can you bring your mic up closer to your mouth? All the way close, thanks. <sighs> okay. Is this better? Did you miss all of that? I don't have to do it again, do I? Okay, all right, good. So PTL continues their fantastic work, and we want to offer up prayers of thanksgiving for our PTL. They have raised uh, over $8,000 for our school through their Famous Faces fundraiser. And one more opportunity for everyone. There's a virtual silent auction scheduled for April 23rd. It's called Inspire. So uh, please register for that. Uh, those are always a lot of fun and uh, another opportunity to um, support the Salem School Ministry. Uh, worship Arts, we have installed a wireless bridge, which made uh, last week's online um, experience seamless. That was a wonderful thing. So, uh, and then we recently acquired a couple of pieces of new technology. I have no idea what they do, but I'm assured that, that the worship experience will get better from that. So again, um, the ministry is moving forward in all aspects. Uh, we had uh, the drive through Ash Wednesday. And as Pastor said, we have uh, some online worship uh, for Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday. We'll have online for early on Easter Sunday, and then two, two uh, services. So we're getting, we're, we're getting closer to normal. We're taking those steps. They're incremental. They're thoughtful. Um, there's a whole group of people that are continuously monitoring the numbers and what they mean and the ongoing, uh, ever-changing um, guidance from uh, our governance, from the state governance. So, but we are we are approaching normal. We're getting back to normal. Um, youth ministry. Youth ministry. A Foothill High School youth who has been touched by Salem's youth ministry and was non Christian is going to be baptized. So, even in a COVID scenario, Salem is reaching out and it's touching the community around us. Praise God. Uh, 17 students are going to be confirmed. And so, again, it may seem like we're disconnected, 
And in some cases, some of us are remote because they need to be, we need to be, but we're not disconnected because we are, continue to be the body of Christ, um, joined together in service to our Lord at this ministry here at Salem. On to school. The uh, re-enrollment as of 3-9 for K through 8 was 300 with 5 in progress. For some of you, that may not seem, that may not mean much, but for those who serve the school ministry, they understand that this is, this is a huge, a huge blessing. Our current K through eight program uh, has 327 enrolled students with 71 in the pre-K. Um, and so in, we're not even to April yet, and, and we're over 300. So um, that, is, that is just a, a true blessing. As Pastor mentioned, we're gonna have a voters meeting on 411. We actually have one, two, three, three, three call committees uh, working as we speak. One for our uh, director of early childhood education position, one for a research specialist, and two for uh, school teachers. And so please continue to pray uh, for them as they, uh, as they complete their work to identify the candidates that God has chosen to serve this ministry in this upcoming school year. Uh, let's see. Also of note, we had a first grade student baptized at chapel in January. So that's, that's our mission. That's, our, that's, what we're, that's what we're called to do. And so these, these baptisms are, are, well, we're reaching, we're, God is at work through this ministry. And so um, it's a, a little emotional, but that's okay. Um, and then uh, finally for the school ministry, uh, we started the uh, WASC NLSA accreditation, self-study, and we'll be going through that progress uh, through that process, and um, we look forward to uh, receiving the accreditation that uh, we that we need. So, having s having given you a brief rundown of the mi of the of the state of the ministry, are we, do we have any questions? It's a town hall, so feel free to ask really difficult questions and. Nobody? Praise God. All right. Well, with that, we'll adjourn the, we'll adjourn the town hall. Thank you for sticking around, and uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you Easter Sunday.